fourth goalie in the history of the National Hockey League to play 1,000 games. He's second all time in wins now. How excited do you think his he is going to be? How excited do you think the Penguins are going to be? Because obviously the history goes back since 2003 when the Penguins took him first overall. A nice night for the aging out goaltender of Marc Andre Fleury. It's going to be some, there's going to be some awesome moments. I think it's everyone wanted to see him play in Pittsburgh. Um, regardless of whose call it was, we didn't get it. And honestly, it may have been for the better anyway, but it's, this is going to be an appropriate little, you don't want to say send off because you're not necessarily calling for the end of his career. He might have another year left in the tank, but this is a nice little moment to celebrate those accomplishments that, there were some times whenever Flurry was still in Pittsburgh before the new back-to-back cups that you'd look at Flurry and go, "This dude can't cut it." Even when you know, even after the 09 Cup, in between those uh, cup years, there were some you know some games, some stretches in there, and then the playoffs would happen where you really wonder what this goalie is, who Mark Andre Flurry is. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing that was certain is that he still knew ways to win. He still knew how to shut it down uh, when he needed to and when he could. And then, you know, he leaves, when helps help regardless of Matt Murray being around Mark Andre Fleury helped with those 16 and 17 cups in Mm -hmm. the right ways. Um, And then he goes on to Vegas, carries that team to a cup final in its first year of existence. Mm -hmm. We don't need to talk about his exit from Vegas. Everyone knows that. Chicago was an interesting one. And now here he is in Minnesota breaking these records that I probably wouldn't have believed he was going to break back in the day. I mm-hmm. straight up wouldn't have. I liked Flurry. I just don't, I don't know. Like, I don't remember really what I thought of him. I know I liked him, but I don't know if he was th- going to do all this. And this is incredible yeah. stuff. Yeah, I think we can all agree that he was probably a Penguins Hall of Famer when he left Pittsburgh mm-hmm. in 2017. But what he's done since, I think, has really got him into the Hockey Hall of Fame Absolutely. stratosphere. And I don't think he was a Hall of Famer as far as the, the National Hockey League in the world. I don't think he was a Hall of Famer when he left Pittsburgh, but he's certainly a Hall of Famer now. Uh, Yeah, it would have been a harder discussion then. I, I mean, mean, he went and took Vegas in their first year, as you mentioned. Yeah. He won a Vezina Trophy at the yeah. age of like 36. Yeah, now that he's passed Patrick, uh, past Patrick Waffer, second all-time, he's the fourth goaltender to ever hit 1,000 games. The longevity and the ability that he has had to play well mm-hmm. late into his career, we'll get into it not as much this season, but play well late into his career and be a Vezina goaltender yeah. at one point very late in his career, I think that is what has cemented him as a, maybe not first ballot, but certainly somebody who's going to heavily be in the conversation for a Hall of Fame spot whenever his career is all said and done. Yeah, those two stats alone. You can't you can't not put him in with those two stats alone. Straight it, up. You, Second all-time in wins and a 1,000 yeah. games played as a goal. Those, you can't keep him out of the conversation for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, he could have, like, I forget what the number of wins is. But he could have that that exact number of losses, if not more. You still have to put him in. There's you have. Have no choice. Goaltenders don't. There's not a lot of goaltenders in the Hockey Hall of Fame. Yeah, but number two all time. Yeah, that's true. You can't not. And then attack on the thousand games played. He's only one of four, if yeah. not three goalies to do that. One of four. He's the fourth. Yeah. You. You. Can, those two alone. You can't not. He could have awful backing numbers. He could have awful loss records. Mm-hmm. Even with those two, he could have never won a cup. And still do it, I'd say personally, because you can't look at the because you can't have someone down the line look at the all time wins numbers. Thousand games for a goalie might never happen again. Okay. Straight up. I mean, yeah, goalies are playing less than they ever have. Yeah. Now. That straight season up might season. never happen again. Yeah. And that wins number, it's hard to hit. It's possible to hit, but hard as hard as hell. So you look at those two stats and go, how is how was he not? Yeah. He almost has to. Then you, because now you do tack on a well deserved Vesna late into his career. You mm-hmm. tack on one cup, one solely by himself. You tack on two where he had a big helping hand in. And you tack on a Stanley Cup final appearance for mm-hmm. in that third, in that year after, or sorry, two years after. Uh, no, that, that was the year. I'm yeah. confusing everything. Three straight in, Stanley Cup finals. Three state Cup finals appearances. And he had a huge helping hand in. One and a half of them. I'd say he, you know, you you can decide how you want in 16, 17. Yeah. But it's, all of that adds up to, it. the more you talk about it, the more it's first ballot type stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now let me ask the question. This is the question that's always going to be asked. Obviously, the Minnesota Wild are outside of a playoff spot. They've had a rough season as of right now. The question is going to be asked over the next calendar month. Will he waive his no-move clause? Will somebody be interested in bringing in Marc-Andre Fleury? He might be a big name on the trade market. As we all know, it is going to be a goalie-heavy mm -hmm. trade deadline season. The question then becomes, after this year, because his contract does expire, one more year? And if so... Is that year in Pittsburgh? Because, I mean, the Penguins right now have a uh, no need to bring in Marc-Andre Fleury right. as it currently stands today. But Alex Odelkovic might be pricing himself out of this team. And if mm -hmm. he does, I wouldn't want to go to Magnus Helberg as the number two. I like him as the number three. There's an opening there where Marc-Andre Fleury can settle himself back in where it all started 22 years ago. Let Joel Blomquist kind of get one more year to stew in the AHL. It's, yep. I don't know. It, what, what do you it, think? Bring him back one more year? Listen, this, first of all, ever since he left in 2017. It's been asked too many times. <laughs> how many years has that been? It's been asked every year since. But I, I will if, say, this is probably the most realistic year. Suddenly, it's and then every year it's become more and more realistic. It, it more and more realistic, <laughs> yeah. As time has gone on, um, it's yeah. become more realistic. And now it, it just feels like it's lining up to be as, as possible as it's ever been. But would you be interested in bringing him back? I mean, he has a 295 goals against average and an 897 save percentage this season. Not great, but again, <laughs> not on the best of Minnesota Wild teams. So right. where do you stand on it? Um, And maybe, you know, coming back to Pittsburgh for that last year kind of rejuvenates him a little. And he's maybe. able to. You never as a backup. Goaltending's weird too, man. You yeah. just never know. Um, I... I don't know how much longer I can tow the line. I don't know. <laughs> I straight up, I don't know because yeah. there's too many factors leading to it. You want the Penguins to still be able to win even next year. Mm -hmm. I will say though, I'll say this. If the wheels fall off and Kyle Dubas has to start stripping this team down, screw it, <laughs> go for it. Screw yeah. it. You Because at, at that point, you know Crosby's sticking around. You know Malkin and Latang are sticking around. You don't know about Gensel. At that point, what do you have to lose? The what do you have fails. to lose? Yeah. The old gonna... Andrew McCutcheon back to the Pirates last year. I, I, that did not help that much with ticket sales. <laughs> it, well, it helped like for a month, and then whatever. Maybe he started... Jersey sales again. I I don't know. Wasn't sidebar, and then we can finish this episode. Didn't they not at first make his jersey in the City Connect uh, style? I don't remember. I thought I saw I, something I that remember. like when they released the City Connect jerseys, they had like the key Brian Hayes, the Brian Reynolds. And maybe one more, but they did uh, Bednar, but they didn't have Kutch. I'm almost positive that's how it started. I obviously you can always get it customized, and I think they have them now. Yeah, but I think off the jump, I don't think they had it. I remember cool. looking for those jerseys because I own one. That's a failure of marketing right there. You know he was going to be the highest seller. Like who cares who your best player is? It's right. Kutch. It's Kutch. But you know it's Flurry. It's it Mark Andre Flurry. I would say you know things are aligning obviously for that to be an option. Mm -hmm. That's where I see it right now. It's an option. And if they can't bring back Alex Nadelkovich, because I think That's that too. should be their first call. It should be their first call. Yep. If they can't bring him back, I think Flurry is on the short list. And I think it would be amazing to see him have one more year in Pittsburgh. And again, he might retire after this year. He might. He be might. Yeah, we numb. don't know. But I think it would be amazing to see one more year in Pittsburgh. And well, yes, his numbers aren't great this year goaltending Zudu, and if there's any goaltender that one year back where it all started can just take all that energy into a, let's say, 908, 907 save percentage as a backup. 20 games, maybe if 30. We get, especially if we get the Tristan Jari we've gotten so far this season, mm -hmm. I think you're all right with that. Yeah. I think you're all right with that. Plus, I don't know, maybe let's fix the defense a little bit too. That might help. But <laughs> That might uh, help a bit. That might help a little bit. But 